Um, this is part two, whatever, I'm trying to fix the quiz. Anyway, I did two things different. First thing is I'm going to do this in a Sharpie because it doesn't look like you can see the writing in the red pen at all. And second thing is, and more importantly, I switched my um, Free Syria bracelet to this hand so it's like loud and clear. Free Syria. Uh, anyway. Okay, so solid zinc strips are added to a solution. This is question number three. Solid zinc strips. Again, now we've got here a solid metal, zinc. So I have Zn solid. What do you think the oxidation number is on this thing? Yeah, zero. Anyway, and it's added to a solution of copper two sulfate. Most of you guys were good with your, um, here. Most of you guys are good with your nomenclature. You put, okay, well, copper has a positive two charge. Sulfate has a negative two charge. So I've got CuSO4, okay? And it's a solution, so it's Aq, aqueous. So here, solid zinc strips are added to a solution of copper two sulfate, okay? Then what species is the reducing agent? Well, first of all, what kind of reaction is this? I have A plus B, C. Um, most of you guys did this good. You realize, excuse me, that this is a metal replacement reaction, okay? Now, um, I did not give you the activity series for you to see whether or not this reaction is going to occur, but because I said what species is the reducing agent, you can kind of assume that the reaction is going to take place, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go jing, and I'm going to say copper is going to be bumped out, and he's going to become Cu solid, right? Now in this compound, he was a positive 2. And he was bumped out and he became a 0. In order for him to be bumped out, he has gained 2 electrons. He's gone from plus 2 to 0. Who the heck took those electrons? It's got to be, excuse me, who the heck gave him those electrons? It's got to be zinc. So now zinc has a plus 2 charge and plus 2 zinc plus the, you know, with the negative 2 for sulfate, I'm going to have plus ZnSO4. That's how I got that. This doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you how to get the equation, but it doesn't matter because the only thing I asked you is what species is the reducing agent. So copper went from plus 2 to 0, okay, which means he has gained electrons and he is reduced, okay? Who is the person that reduced him? It's zinc. Zinc went from 0 to positive 2, okay? 0, 2, plus 2. Zinc went from 0 to plus 2, which means he lost two electrons. And remember the mnemonic oil rig, oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. So zinc was oxidized. In order for zinc to be oxidized, that means that he's the dude who's reducing the other guy. So he, zinc is the reducing agent. The answer is zinc, okay? Um, for question number four, solid lithium oxide is added to water. What is the name of the group of elements that lithium belongs to? Yeah, that's throwing you guys a bone. What is the name of the group of elements that lithium belongs to? It's an alkali metal. Yay. Hello? Play it. Number five, solutions. Again, you see the word solutions. La, la, la. Solutions of silver nitrate and sodium chromate are mixed categorize this reaction in two different ways. Now, I'm just going to look at this. I see silver and I see nitrate. I'm not even going to draw it. I see sodium and I see chromate. Do you see AB plus CD? I'm just going to write this. I see AB plus CD. What do you think this is going to make? First of all, I see solutions. So I know this is aqueous, this is aqueous. Um, one of the things I'm going to say is because I have AB plus CD, one of the names is it's a double displacement. Okay, it's a double displacement reaction. I want to categorize the reaction in two different ways. The first is it's a double displacement reaction, and then the second way to categorize the reaction is, since it said here solutions, I know these are aqueous, right? Now I'm going to just examine it. Silver, it, instead of it being paired up with nitrate, if it's a double displacement, he is going to become silver chromate, right? and then sodium is going to become sodium nitrate. Now sodium is an alkali metal. Anything he gets paired up with, I'm going to assume is soluble, but the problem here is with silver chromate. Silver chromate will precipitate, okay? Chromates are usually insoluble. So I know that this reaction is not only a double displacement, but it's a precipitation. 
And I really didn't need to know the solubility rules. The fact they told me solutions of, so I knew these are both in aqueous solutions. The only other thing I could possibly think of is that it might be, you know, a precipitation reaction. They kind of gave you a hint when they said solutions, okay? And then for the bonus question, hydrochloric acid is an aqueous solution. So define the, you know, write like the reaction correctly. I, I accept different ways. You can write like HCl and then an arrow over water, but I prefer to write it like this. I mean, we're going over Bronsted Lowry acids and bases. So for those of you who got the bonus, you wrote HCl donating a little proton to the water and then um, the arrow. And yes, it's a one direction arrow because it's a strong acid. And I get H3O plus ZCl minus. This is the acid, hydrochloric acid. Water is the base. Okay, water is amphiprotic. It can play acid or base. The um, hydronium ion is the conjugate acid. Chloride is the conjugate base. Okay, and I don't need to balance it. It's already balanced. So that's that. Um, you guys can already kind of guess how your grade is depending on, you know, the sheet and how well you did. And hopefully you will all update in grade once, you know, once I finish grading the quizzes. All right, bye-bye.